And now Coach Conroy for Varsity Baseball. Thanks, Coach. The Varsity Baseball team had uh, uh, just a 6-12 and record, but a very deceptive record. Uh, we were, once again, very competitive in most of our games, came up just short in, in uh, a number of our games, and our record was not necessarily indicative of, of our level of ability. We uh, continue to be uh, complimented by the way we approach the game itself and the, the competitive nature of our team. Quite frankly, we just came up a little bit short. Again, we continue to, to gain the respect of our uh, opponents in what is widely considered the best high school baseball league in New York State. Just in our league, we've had uh, no fewer than a dozen players leaving our league to go on Division I baseball scholarships. That's a dozen just out, out of our league this year. We also had uh, Shenandoah, which was ranked nationally all season, so this is a quality league that we're playing in. We respond to that quality league by having the highest quality kids, and, and they're the ones I'd like to focus on tonight. We had a, a number of players, and this was this was as gratifying as anything that, that you can have happen to you as a coach. I had a number of players really give up some individual recognition, some individual success maybe, for what we thought was going to be the best for the team. Each of these guys made sacrifices in their own way, but a couple I'd like to point out for, for special ones. We had a guy like Brian Pendergast, who last year as a junior, I wasn't sure that he was ready to step right in and play at, at this level in the Suburban Council. I asked him to play on the JV where we knew he'd get plenty of time. Obviously, he wanted to play with his friends, the other juniors. He reluctantly agreed, went down, and had a great year. He came up and had uh, a better season than any of us could have hoped for. He led our team in batting average, was flawless in center field, had an outstanding season. And again, in a competitive league like we are playing in, uh, to be recognized, honorable mention, as a, an outfielder, you're in great company. So he had a great season. A guy like Matt Werger comes back third year on the varsity. Uh, had some, some injuries early in the season. Uh, due to those injuries and the fact that we missed him for a couple of games early on, moved him out of his what he felt was going to be his natural shortstop position in order to groom our shortstop of the future, George Brooks, who ended up doing a great job for us as a junior at shortstop. But that was, that was made possible by Matt Werger's sacrifice of moving out of his normal position. I could go on and on about some of the sacrifices we've made. It was truly gratifying that, that we worked together for the most part toward what we were trying to get done as a team and didn't worry so much about the individual stuff that was going on. When I call your name, please come right up. George Brooks. <laughs> Josiah Deep. Adam Grimm, Kyle Jones, Jason Oswald, Brian Pendergast, Casey Rafferty, Dan Rosano, Brett Samboy, Rob Vieira, Matt Werger. We have some awards. I want to talk about a couple of guys that, that are special here. I felt badly for, for our older kids the last couple of years because we, we regularly go back and play Colonial Council teams that we competed against in league competition for so many years. We regularly play these teams in, or some of these teams in non-league games. And the ones that we played, the Albany Academies and the uh, Lansingburgs, these are teams that, that constantly challenge for the Colonial Council um, title. We have not lost to them since we left the Colonial Council. And I think it's important to recognize that that these guys have kind of taken it on their chin the last couple of years uh, in the Suburban Council. And we're, we've come an awful long way in the last 10 or 12 years, and that's because we've had some great kids working awfully hard, and they should be recognized for that. We've got three tonight for some awards. First, the Coach's Award. This is a kid 
that, uh, and I'll borrow a, a phrase from a fellow coach, Peg Squazzo. This is a kid that you'd hope your daughter would bring home one day. I have had the great pleasure Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't mention my daughter's only five and a half. So, <laughs> so again, I borrowed it from somebody else here. But this is a tremendous kid. I've had the utmost pleasure in working with him for the last two years. This is someone that gets. He's gotten absolutely the most out of his ability. He's worked as hard as anybody I've ever worked with, uh, from studying film to doing extra throwing on the side, to doing extra batting practice on the side. Uh, he's, he's been a dream to coach. He'll, uh, I spoke to him tonight and I said that uh, I've really enjoyed it and he's gonna be successful in anything he chooses to do in his future. A coach's award for dedication to Brett Sambo. We have one more award, our Scholar Athlete Award. Scholar Athlete, for someone that excels in the classroom as well as on the athletic field and does a, a good job of helping his or her team. This young man did all of that and more. He's as nice a kid as anyone could ever hope for. I want to make sure he, he knows how much I appreciate what he's done for us this year. Our Scholar Athlete is Brian Pender. Hey! Oh, Look, Ma, I'm on TV. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, I'm so is that the level? There it is. No, you just. Woo hoo! <laughs> <laughs> is that. I saw stop, one of those. Stop, stop. I saw one of those. I was driving down the road. I saw. <laughs> I had this one in real life. I was driving down the road. It was just there. No smoking. Call us later and let us know what you're doing. All right. Hi. <laughs> okay, everybody's coming. Oh, watch it. I can do it. All right, that's it. Mean, you're Roger. <laughs> what are you guys, the same shoes on? No. Oh, thank you. Oh, sorry. It's like the weird thing now. Oh, cool. Uh, yes! <laughs> I didn't go today. <laughs> I'll bite you. All right, Brett. Lindsay, have fun tonight. Bye. Bye. Brett has his car keys? I hope so.